What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video we're talking Six Nations. Three teams that are still in a Six Nations contention for the title. We know for sure, straight and forward, we're not going to see a Grand Slam, but we're going to see a champion get crowned in 2020. In the two weekends of October, where the tournament returns, just over a month and a half. And I cannot wait to see what's going to happen. Technically, you can say if miracles happen and, and shocks in the rugby world, four teams have contention. But right now, logically, you could see three teams possibly winning. Those teams are Ireland, England and France. Unfortunately, for Wales and Italy, they've got two games left and neither can claim the crown. Um, which is unfortunate for Wales, who were Grand Slam champions last year. But hey... A new champion will be crowned, and that's the beauty of Six Nations. It's not completely dominated by one team. It, it, it's exciting, it's intense, and the fact that we've got two final weekends left where we actually don't know outright who's going to win, it's phenomenal, it's exciting, it's what fans want, and it's what brings us together more and more closer to the sport. For me, I know I want Ireland to back it, because I think they've done enough to do it. Favourites will probably be England, but let's not count out France. I mean, they started off with a bang. Yes, towards the end, they were a bit rusty. But then you got this whole break of COVID-19. How these teams adjust and adapt to what they've missed is going to be interesting. We've had first week of Premiership. We've got Pro 14 this weekend. We've got the French League starting sometime. So all these guys will have a little bit of rugby blood in them before they get started in October. And that is going to be exciting to see how they adapt from provincial level to international level because it's going to be the first form of international rugby, the Six Nations. And it's going to be so interesting for us to witness how they are going to adapt from provincial to international. Now, obviously, Ireland have it in their hands. All they need to do is win both remaining games against Italy and France with bonus points. And um, obviously, they can definitely, it, things can happen. We could see surprises. We could see France win. Who knows? But that's how Ireland can do it. To seal the deal convincingly, that all they need to do is two bonus points against Italy and France. And then it will be their, their obviously, the title since 2018 when they won the Grand Slam. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. England's fate still lies in the hands of Ireland, as mentioned. Um, but could be definitely seen as favourites with the, the way they were playing and um, with the nature of how Ireland need to beat France with a bonus point, that's definitely not an easy thing to do. So England can still definitely do it and will sit at favourites. So should they beat Italy with a bonus point um, and Ireland don't get the 10 points um, out of the 10 available, then... England, go for it, boy, because then they can do it. And um, they, they would be deserving champions. Any one of these three teams right now in Six Nations would be deserving champions because they have shone and they have shown moments of class, but they've obviously also taken a little fall here and there. France, it comes down to match points difference. If they beat Ireland by three uh, match points, uh, more than England beat in Italy... Um, and if Eddie Jones's men do win, France will pick up their first um, Six Nations game. Or if Eddie Jones' men obviously do win, but don't get enough points, then France will pick up their first one in 10 years. That will be phenomenal. And in 2010 it was when they last got it, and they also claimed a Grand Slam. So it will be a great success story for France if they can turn things around like that and go from last year, year before, where they were nowhere to champions. What a great turnaround for a team like France, and deservedly so. Scotland, the unlikeliest winners. I mean, come on, let's you put money on the table. You, unfortunately, whether you love or not, no, it's not going to happen. However, should Scotland beat Wales on the 31st of October, and Italy beat England and France, Hey, anything could happen. Um, uh, or the F Ireland and France game gets draw drawn. Scots will win. It'll be the first na Six Nations win. But obviously, 
it does seem a little bit unlikely but anything can happen and that's the beauty of rugby for me i think technically on paper you would see england go in and win but my my i think if ireland could just keep, keep focused against france then they're definitely going to seal the deal and win uh, and for france anything can happen get ireland over well done boykies you got it but ireland's got it in their in their bag really they just need to figure out how to execute moving that bag out but well, technically england's got it in the bag but ireland have every opportunity to take this tournament and to win it but it's not over until the final whistle so let's wait and see who are you backing or who do you want to win firstly who do you think is going to win who do you want to win fortunately for wales and italy no chance scotland technically can join it that's why i've made the title three teams in contention but um, we'll definitely wait and see it's going to be a cracking tournament and i'm looking forward to seeing the results and how these boykies provide can eddie jones's boy keys do it or will farrell's boy keys do it or will france surprise us it's gonna be incredible i'm gonna do it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you're new and i'll see you real soon for another one stay safe and never give up cheers